My name is Isha John, and I'm the Director of Pharmacy at Howard County General Hospital. I'm also a mom, and one of my most important roles is managing my family's medication. Today, what I want to talk to you about is how do you simplify and organize your medicine cabinet? Uh, sounds like a daunting task, and I will tell you from many medicine cabinets that I've inspected, um, that's something that we need to work on. So the number one thing when you're working on your medicine cabinet is to make sure the location is in a good temperature controlled area. Um, this could impact the potency um, and safety of your medications to make sure that they're still effective. So temperature, done. Number two, make sure um, that you're putting the medicine cabinet in a place that's safe. Keep it away from pets, keep it away from children, um, make it a little bit hard to reach, but perfect just for you. Um, number three, make sure that you empty out the contents of your medicine cabinet. Look through all of the medications and sort it first into what you're still taking. This could be over-the-counter medications as well as prescription medications um, for both uh, yourself as well as your children. Once you've done this, the next step is to look at the expiration dates. Um, for all of the medications and to remove in a separate bin or plastic bag for a drug take back program for any medications that are expired that you no longer need. It's very important to solicit one of the many drug take back programs that we have available in Howard County um, and we want to make sure that we really protect um, our water from the medicines by not um, flushing it down the drain or throwing it in the trash. Um, and specifically, if you have any opioid medications, we really want to make sure that it um, gets back to a drug take back program. So now that you've um, cleansed out your medicine cabinet with uh, the removal of expired medications and the meds that you're no longer taking, the next step is to organize. Um, there's different ways that you can do this. Um, for myself, I have uh, two bins available. One bin um, for all the adult medications and a second bin for all the pediatric medications. Um, that way it's easy to reach um, when my daughter has a fever, I know exactly where to go. Um, one thing that I like to do um, that I've taken from the inpatient pharmacy to apply it in my home setting is to have um, a piece of paper where I jot down the list of all the medications that I am on, um, both over the counter, and also I have the expiration date listed. On the bottom piece of paper, um, I write down um, just the months of the year, so I'm doing my unit inspections inside my medicine cabinet. And with just a simple piece of masking tape, I put it on the side of my cabinet, and that way, at a glance, I can see exactly what I'm taking, um, and it's very easy uh, to maintain.